And developing this morning, four people hurt, including a child, after a car crashed through a toll booth and into the ocean at Daytona Beach. This morning, we're learning more from beach officials about what may have caused this crash. Ezzy Castro is live where it happened near International Speedway Boulevard. And as the investigators say, it likely started with some sort of medical issue. That's correct. So lifeguards that we spoke to yesterday believe the driver may have had some medical issue right before he drove into a toll booth and onto the beach. And witnesses say it all happened so fast and, and some of them were able to get out of the way just in time. Like 40 miles an hour and it obliterated the, the toll booth and it still came barely going all the way through and people were dodging left and right to get out of the way. Nicole Mathis says she saw the moment when a driver drove right across the beach and into the water while people were enjoying the day at Daytona Beach. Volusia Beach safety officials say four people, including a child who was in the water at the time, were hurt in the crash. I heard it, I saw it, and I followed the line of travel, and our son was in the water. Yeah, Marshall. And so we I took fight off him. calling his name, and I took off to the water. Shannon Laughlin and her husband explained the driver was in the car with his wife and two others and had trouble getting out. So Laughlin said they jumped in to help. That car was just back and forth and it was it kept hitting us. And Nicole was telling roll down the window, come just out the come window. You gotta come out the window. It was awful. We learned the child that was taken to the hospital was there with a trauma alert but is expected to survive. Meantime, we will be reaching out to Volusia Beach Safety to find out more about the other victims that were injured yesterday. We'll also be asking what exactly caused this crash. Live in Daytona Beach, Ezzy Castro, getting results, C6.